good morning it's a tuesday as you can see shop door is open i just turned the heat off yep still a little chilly out but chelsea's friend who's a boy got out of work early today this morning so he's coming over we're gonna get that snowmobile trailer out washed up put away get this washed up Get the blade washed up, put away. And you know, they're clamoring, wanting to bring seed. So I gotta get the curtains opened up. Start, basically start getting shit out. So would I like to keep the heat on a little longer? Cause here's our like 10 day forecast. Yeah, I mean, they're talking, you know, this weekend, as you can see back in the forties. Next week, back up into the low sixties, low to mid sixties. By that following weekend, they're showing 40s again, but, I mean, it's April, so April, what is today, April 4th, something like that, I don't know, my calendar's still set on March, so, tells you how much I pay attention, it is April 5th, so, I guess I need to change the calendar, so as soon as he gets here, we will start moving stuff, we gotta take the pressure washer over there, because obviously that, stayed in here this winter so it kept warm might as well take the grill over put it on our deck gotta move the foosball table and the ping pong table back there and the table and chairs and stuff after we get the curtain open so because right here is if you remember from previous last year's videos where we put pallets of seed so yeah we're gonna start and as you could see in that forecast too it's supposed to be pretty shitty here in the next like tomorrow night through friday 70 80 percent chance of rain or something yay that's what we need more rain right now it's loud over here chelsea's friend who's the boy is cleaning the gator tractor and snow flower clean snowmobile trailer clean Lawn's still a little soft. Got that put away. So that's tucked away for till next winter. I gotta get the snow plow off that, which we're gonna do now. I gotta get the bucket back on because I gotta lift his ass up to untie the strings on the curtain before I can open that up. 72.30 and 64.20 are running. There's the bucket, snow plow sit back there. Pull them out, just give them a quick rinse, get the winter bird shit and whatnot off them. Then once I get the other, the curtain open there, I can pull the two big tractors out, the 8Rs, give them a quick rinse, so. So now I'm gonna get that snow plow off and get the bucket on. I got Chelsea's friend who's a boy in the bucket. We got the 6420 and the 7230 out over there. He just finished the gator. I gotta lift them up to undo the strings where we tie the curtains together to keep it somewhat tight during the winter. Because as you've seen, that's not the most, you know, that's not the greatest setup in the world, but it's not bad. So it keeps it fairly warm in here. I just looked at the thermostat and I think it said 52 in here. It was 61 when I turned it off. So, oh, let's see, probably right about there. Once this is done, I can finish opening up the curtain and I can get the rest of the, the other two tractors out and start getting some of the other equipment out. But, so we're getting there. Yes, we are. So far, miraculously, everything has started. Both lawnmowers, the new one and the, the old pig there. The 8235, which sat right 
there obviously started because that's now we're in line to get washed so i am going to the back of the shop the addition we put on a few years ago to open up the doors and get out the 8295 you see my boards didn't uh, hold up so well where i tried to block the little bit of gap there to keep the raccoons out this year i haven't looked to see if they shit all over anything yet but we will so this one rolled a little hard but it started so now i can get this over there that's the seat going up settles during the winter and get this over there get him washing it and we will be ready to start moving other equipment around because we will have all the tractors clean it's like tetris in the winter kind of like untetrising in the spring trying to get everything out so for anybody that's thinking about building a new building yeah obviously it's shit's wicked expensive now compared to two years ago when i built this one but whatever size you think build it bigger yeah because it won't be big enough there's the corn that i moved this morning to get the snowmobile trailer parked where that was parked for the winter so we are making progress still have quite a bit of grain to move but haven't uh haven't heard from anybody to move anything which right now we're okay it's not like we're you know the bank account's not empty so i guess if we're not moving anything right at the moment it's not horrible i only got three loads of corn left that are on contract anyhow one load of beans is on contract and then everything else i still have to sell so but all right let's pull this over to get it a bath Sixty-four twenty and seventy-two thirties got washed. Working on the eighty-two thirty-five R. Now he's got to do the eighty-two ninety-five R. I mean, they were washed before they were put away, so they're not horrible. But you know, they get a little winter winter junk on them. Now I got to remember to take off my my rodent repellents. Yes, I found two big rat carcasses in the shop oh boy i got them all over back here there's another one oh there's another one i got a thing of the old mothballs there's another one holy shit it's hard to reach in there oh i apparently put a lot on this tractor and yes I do save those and put them in the shop during the summer just to help. Oh look, oh look, there's another one. Yeah, you got a, you got a close up view of that one. Oh. I'm sure there was a few on this tractor too that I forgot to take off, but it is what it is. So, getting everything shiny. All right, Chelsea's friend who's a boy on his phone. Typical teenager. Everything's washed. Two tractors still sitting over there. This one I just had to do something to. Loader tractor. I got. Oh, we got to pull the forks out, and just so I can get at them. That's all. I got one of the three places I bought seed from bringing seed tomorrow morning. So gotta get shit moved. Put the 8295 on the chisel plow. I got a broken, actually I got two. I'm not impressed with them at all. I normally run Weiss, couldn't get them last year. And I think these are Herschel. I got one broke there and I got one broke there. So I think probably I'll change them, put all brand new ones on, since these are somewhat war, but still have life and save these for, when the pieces of shit keep breaking again so couldn't get weiss i don't know supply chain
bullshit. But so that situation's ready. Other than I got to I'll you know, obviously I haven't done any servicing of tractors yet. Still got to do that, but I got to make room in the shop for seed delivery because probably the other two outfits will be bringing theirs next week, also sometime. So the duels. Barb came out and helped the th two of us put those on. It's dark in here, so it's hard to see, but with these spacers for 30 inch, all they do is tack weld them things. Them little tabs where they put that extra, whatever that is, six, eight inch space there um, with this larger space. This side's fine. This side, when we went to put it on, Two of them, well, that one and that one, the tack weld was broke. So I just chicken shitted it. And yes, it'll hold. And no, I'm not a professional welder. And trying to do it in here with these clamp, these bar clamps in the way didn't help to start with. I'm trying to do it in there, just sucked start with so gotta hook this onto the planner because beans will go back there corn goes over here so i think two bean boxes are coming from this guy tomorrow so i gotta get the planner moved and i don't know what else today okay i'm gonna end this video you've seen this ugly mug before derek and kathy from mad moose are here and there's the 6420 with the decals taken off of it. So something's coming. And if it's ugly, it's sure. and if it's ugly, it's all his fault right there. But you will see it in the future as to what that tractor will look like. So stay tuned. End of video. Go check out their their website. They're in my info to for my t-shirts and hats and all that and call them and they'll make you anything you want right sure, sure. see you in the next one